guys, we're going to be starting Adventures of an Iron Woman, episode 44, with 95 prayers. Sorry about my bird. I'm not very sure what she's doing. But yeah, very nice. I have enough bones right now for 97. I'll have to, of course, go back and uh, get more and etc. But yeah, this is going to be good. Boom, 96 prayer. Heck yeah. Congrats. Thanks, Mandrew. 97 prayer boom shaka laka laka oh my gosh two more levels two more levels till 99 um i don't know how long it would take me to get but i'm gonna go for it and see i don't know i may take a break not sure all right guys there's a lump lucky impling here at sam crabs i just thought i would go ahead and purple sweets wow that sucks uh, <laughs> I never get lucky with these lunky blings. <sighs> oh well. All right, guys. So I got this rune 95 rune crafting at work. I wasn't able to record because it was overwork. Uh, and I am almost at 300k blood runes, 274k. I got about probably 35,000 to 40,000 from 94 to 95. Uh, right now, I'm now collecting collecting secondaries for Mortmeyer fungus just to start working a little bit of herb lore to start creeping towards 99. All right, guys, so I wasn't recording when I did this, but I finally imbued the Zerker ring. I did some Nightmare Zone. Uh, the Sears ring, I still haven't imbued, but finally done that. Uh, I really don't like Nightmare Zone. I think it's almost hilarious that I'm getting close to max and I didn't have an imbued Zerker ring. Just kind of sad. <laughs> I just truly have never really enjoyed Nightmare Zone and right now I only have two rings imbued um, but eventually I'll go back maybe post max and get the rest done. All right guys so if you haven't seen my Tebow clip here it is. Twisted bow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! I'm gonna do the inferno. I posted this on my channel, so I'm assuming all of y'all saw it. It was huge hype. I got the pet and the Tebow. And it was a huge opportunity because now I can do the inferno. As you can see right now, I'm mining amethyst arrows, uh, arrow tips, and so that's going to be the next step in my progression. Uh, I will be doing a full video of all of my inferno attempts, so my inferno attempts will not be my progression videos. Only the final cape will be my progression videos. Progression videos, sorry. <laughs> but the actual attempts will all be combined into one video, and a lot of those attempts I plan on streaming. Uh, for the first couple, I'm just going to be recording them, and for future, I will stream those attempts. So I'm, I'm ex super excited about this grind. Right now, I'm getting amethyst arrows, and then I'm going to need some scales and things like that for Inferno, so I'm really looking forward to it. 
the Tebow was huge, guys. That was a big event on this account. And I'm still working on Max, so I'm going to be doing Inferno Attempt Skilling, Inferno Attempt Skilling. Especially since the Inferno can be very frustrating, I'm going to need to take breaks and skill. Alright guys, what's up? I haven't been really making progress videos because I've been busy raiding and... Uh, trying out the Inferno and everything. If y'all watch me on Twitch, you know that I've been streaming every Inferno, Inferno attempt that I've been doing. Catch me out. Catch me out. Check me out on Twitch and watch me do those every single attempt live and see me further progress. As of right now, you use a lot of death runes in the Inferno and I'm completely out of death runes. Actually, I have like 2k left, but I need money too because I'm very, very low on money. So I'm going to do some smithing. Uh, I can make 12k mithril bars. Or, I meant, yeah, I've got 12k mithril ore, which I'll make into bars, and then I'll smith those into plate bodies and alk them while doing agility. And I'll just smith these two for the darts to get 99 fletching. So here we go. All right, guys, here I am getting 99 fletching. I, uh... Probably won't be buying the fletching cape because but, uh, I'm trying to save all my gold to buy death runes for the inferno. Uh, so I'll probably be holding off on that. And I'm getting to the point where I've got just so many capes in the bank. Um, and right now I kind of only care about the max cape. Maybe we'll see though. So, um, <clears throat> so it was good. Anyway. Guys, we just got 96 smithing and we are mill to 97. That's awesome. I always miss the levels to record. All right, guys, we're coming up on 97 smithing, which is awesome. I have a little bit of a cold, so I sound kind of like crap right now. But yeah, 97, pretty dope. Um, I don't think I'll get to 98 uh, with what I have, but uh, we'll get some XP down, which is good. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. All right, I'm about to get 99 herb lore. Um, I'm sick and it sucks. I hate colds, they're so annoying. I had the flu about a month ago, which was way worse than this. This is just like a little nuisance, but RuneScape is always good to play during colds. Oh, here you go. 99 herb lore. Boo, boo, ya, shaka, laka, laka. Uh, you can now extend your super anti-fire mix. Very nice. I didn't know that required 99. Booyah. Alright guys, so I'm about to get 95 agility. I've been, got the money I needed for a death rune, so that was good. I got my personal best in the inferno today, which was wave 46. And that was on attempt number 13. So that's awesome. Uh, my agility level is now 95. If you guys are wanting to see me do Inferno attempts, you can check that out on my streams. I won't be doing any kind of recording of the attempts until I start getting into triple jads. Okay, Jones here. I just have been doing a lot of Inferno attempts. I've gone 43 attempts and my personal best is wave 67. I'm wanting to see how many Onyx are... Pfft, how many Tokyo this will give me in Death Runes. You need 300,000 Tokyo for an, uh, an Onyx. But I'm wondering how many death runes this will get me because you use a ton of death runes in the Inferno and I'm getting kind of low. So we'll see how this goes. This is terrible how few of... Uh, oh, that's overstocked, so that's not going to work. This is terrible how few of death runes you can actually get with this Tokyo. That's terrible. Look. I'm about to get 96 rune crafting. This has been a very slow grind. Basically, oh shoot, I gotta put these down. Basically, I've just been doing the inferno and like when I have time off or you know I'm at work or something or I need a break from the inferno, I've just been doing rune crafting on the side and that gave me got me from 95 to 96. You know you've been doing a lot of Inferno attempts when you take breaks, just getting 95 to 96 rune crafting, so. Good stuff. Still a ton of XP till 99, but getting closer. I don't think I'll max until after my Inferno cape, just because most of my time is consumed around the Inferno right now, but... Uh, it's nice to do rune crafting on the side. Right now I'm making souls though, because I'm running out of soul runes. Um, I have a ton of blood runes, 
And, you know, I just want to make some soul runes for the Inferno right now. I just got a Serpentine Visage, which is dope. And I already have one of these, so I'm going to dismantle it for the scales. So sick. Hey guys, so I have not been doing many updates because uh, I've been in the inferno. Recently I've taken a couple days of a break and I got 97 rune crafting. Obviously I haven't gotten 97 rune crafting in a couple days from 96, but um, over time I've been making a lot of death runes from the inferno. Now I'm making soul runes and I have achieved that. I'm very close to 98 crafting, so that will be very exciting, about 33k till. Um, but hoping to knock out 99 ruin crafting eventually. It probably won't be it for a couple more months, but you know, two more levels, so we got this. Mm, I forgot my hair was up. <laughs> my hair was up in my inferno do, and I completely forgot. I just died at triples, so. Now I'm doing crafting and I got 99, 98 crafting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. So it was the night amulets, which uh, we've already made a torture, so no need for that. But one more level till 99 crafting. Hey guys, it's Kay Jones. Uh, this is going to be the end of my progression video. And it's going to be a longer progression video, but then again, I haven't posted any videos in probably two to three months. I sincerely apologize for that. Um, it's been for many reasons. The primary reason is probably because I've been on my inferno grind, you know, and it, it's it's been a rough grind. <laughs> I'm at 104 attempts, which is extremely sad, but the, I think a lot of it is mental. I, I know I could complete Zuck many, many attempts ago, and I get past healers often at Zuck and get him down to low health. And I've done that multiple times. So I think it's mostly a mental thing. I've been repeatedly, you know, I've been bullied a lot because of my hair. And I've been terrified to post, you know, videos on my YouTube channel, fearing that I'm just going to get bullied more uh, by trolls on the internet, similar to Twitch. It's been a little tough for me, you know, and very draining. Not only is the uh, the Inferno a draining grind, I think I've spent over 306 hours on it already. But, you know, I think just people, you know, the negativity that comes with it. There's a whole lot of positivity and a lot of great people that, you know, are very supportive. But, you know, being called transgender and all of these other things, which... I shouldn't care, but you know, when you get it on a day-to-day -day basis and you're just being told that kind of stuff in PMs all throughout the day, every day for, you know, a month or two, it, it drains you. So I, I completely apologize for not posting on my YouTube channel. I've been busy with the Inferno grind, my personal life. I have a wedding coming up and I'm very, very excited. And you know, um... I'm just kind of in a healing stage when it comes to RuneScape and publicity and, you know, everything like that. Um, so I sincerely apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed this progression video and I hope next time uh, we'll get to see me with the Inferno Cape or being Max. That'd be pretty sick. And I would like to post more frequent videos but hang in there with me, guys. I think I'm a little bit in this healing stage, you know, just trying to get back to where I was. I'm always a positive person, but we always have those dips and turns in life. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.